you and i both know that we are painfully slow at learning the learning methodologies are seriously outdated and especially in india they have not changed at all for last 150 years both of us you and i have a potential to become a learning beast but we need to learn how to learn properly so follow the principles in this video and i personally guarantee that you will be learning anything any skill any knowledge 5 to 10 times faster you have to divide your goals into as microscopic capsules as possible for example consider there are two people one is tim and another is zoe tim has a goal of he has to learn swimming but zoe has a goal of how long can she hold her breath under water tim has a goal of learning the entire universe but zoe has a goal of remembering the eight planet sequence from the sun tim has a goal of playing a pink floyd uh, solo but zoe has a goal of just playing the c chord Tim has a goal of getting six pack abs but Zoe has a goal of just doing exercise for 30 minutes who do you think has a better chance of success there is no point in guessing it's Zoe because her goals are very well defined she can track her progress on a day by day basis she can work on those micro capsules and she can improve in a much 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 faster way than Tim can never possibly be point number 2 you have to be very very specific you have to hack your brain you have to hack your brain you need to learn how to read faster comprehend better you need to learn mnemonic techniques you need to learn how to remember a list properly you need to learn a lot of things it is like if you have to cut a tree then you need to spend the first hour sharpening the axe your brain is the tool which will open the worlds of possibilities for you anything you want to learn it is through brain you have to do that so please make sure you invest a lot of time in developing your brain read books attend seminars watch workshops go to youtube session like there are so much content available online that you can actually if you want to you can become a learning beast just by following that it is always good if you have multiple sessions of smaller duration than one large big session whether you are doing hiking biking yoga reading learning guitar anything at all it is always advisable for example if you sit for half an hour every day in your living room playing your guitar it is much much better you learn much faster as compared to a weekly session of let's say 4 5 hours because there are a lot of neuronal networks in your brain which are called as synapses in medical terminologies and these are constantly changing wiring rewiring is happening so if you do a constant daily stimulus it is much better than doing let's say a weekly or a monthly stimulus so always focus on doing multiple sessions rather doing rather than doing a single session then you have to get a mentor you have to get a pair of eyes even sachin tendulkar hit slump sometime in his cricket form but it was his batting coach who reminded him that this is your weakness sometimes you yourself are immune to your own weakness you are not able to see your blind spots but it is someone else your mentor your guru your guide your teacher your parents your guardian these are the people who will remind you this is what you are doing wrong for example many singers don't realize that they are singing badly but it's their guru or it's their audience they tell that this is the way you are going wrong and this is what change you need to do and then even sachin tendulkar gets back in his form so while i was doing my mbbs I, everybody said that you have to study from like 5 5 pm in the evening till 12 uh, midnight but i realized that was not working for me i tried out a lot of different methods i heard lot of online lectures i like heard kaplan series i heard i like used to read books i used to attend lectures i used to attend seminars and i used to make my own notes i tried out a lot of different methods same with my guitar learning i tried out a lot of different methods many successful people they try out a lot of different things you might be successful in one direction someone might be successful using the other method it is at the end of the day it's the journey that matters whatever you enjoy you should do that experiment as much as you can like try out a different method see what is working for you and what is not working for you and stick to what what works for you and then continue it on a long term then you'll see the results and you'll be really surprised by them finally you need to have a passion for what you are doing if you don't like to read if you don't want to play guitar if you don't want to play tennis and if you are being forced by someone else for some any external motivation whatsoever basically if you are interested in the end result and you are not enjoying your journey if you don't find that passion you will never be able to learn it you will never be able to master the art of it you will never be able to make the sacrifices that is needed for that you might be asked to spend 8 hours 12 hours 16 hours a day sometimes do you think it is possible you will break down and you will stop doing that so no matter what happens you have to find that passion if it is missing in the beginning it's okay it will take some time you'll get used to it but one two months down the line you'll find that passion if your fingers are hurting while you're playing guitar you should enjoy that process become a sadist enjoy your pain and with that pain you will endure and you will learn and you will grow so i hope these principles will help you in learning do watch awesome courses on an academy and thank you for watching this video have an awesome day roman sani signing off